Hey there, welcome back to the channel. It's me here, Ari. As you can see from the thumbnail of this video, we're going to be comparing Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth versus Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth Caramel Dreams. If I had to pick one, could I? Are they the same? Are they different? What's going on with them? So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be comparing the two fragrances and I'm going to let you know my humble opinions and what I think if I can pick one or do you need both. Okay, so you guys, I have to tell you, if you do not like sweet perfumes, neither of these are for you because they are very sweet. They are very sweet based. Um, the notes in it, you'll be able to tell if you like it or not. So just make sure that if you are to purchase these that you really like sweet fragrances. So we're going to start with Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth and this is the bottle. A lot of people say that they think it's so cute. It reminds you of a Hershey's chocolate bar where you can break off the pieces. But since it's pink, it throws a lot of people off. But I think it's adorable. I think it's cute. I don't have the original packaging to this bottle because I have been wearing her. I love this perfume. So I purchased this bottle on Amazon for about $30 but you can get it at Walmart and it's $29.99 I believe both of these perfumes you can get at Walmart right now it's a one ounce size I really want the bigger bottle of this so when I run out of this I'm definitely grabbing the bigger bottle let's get into the main accords okay so as you can see the main accords are sweet vanilla powdery warm and spicy and musky now we're going to do the air test where you just spray the perfume into the air. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, y'all. It is so pretty. On the opening, I get that vanilla. It is so pretty. But then I get, start getting into the air. I start getting the warm and spicy. It is gorgeous. It just doesn't last long in the air. And I do have my ceiling fan on, but it's not lingering in the air. But it's so good. Oh my goodness. I love this scent. Looking at those notes, I really didn't think too much. I didn't know what to expect. I do love warm and spicy. I love vanilla. I like powdery. It's definitely heavy on the sweet. Love it. So let's look at the notes. So the notes are sparkling bergamot. I love some bergamot okay candied ginger candied ginger chocolate marshmallow no wonder it smells so good jasmine petals i like jasmine i know a lot of people don't coconut milk madagascar vanilla heart okay cashmere wood chantilly cream sugared must as the base y'all no wonder the marshmallow is going to get me every time okay i absolutely love marshmallow so let me just spray this while i am with you guys and just let you know what i think so on the opening it's definitely sweet i'm definitely getting vanilla then comes the warm and spicy which i like it's definitely sweet heavy on the sweet mmm y'all this smells so good this is one of my favorites I do get the jasmine just a tiny bit heavy on the whipped cream cashmere wood is very is there the cashmere wood is there but it's very light I do get some musk once it dries on my skin I've already sprayed it here it's just a sweet, soft, marshmallowy sweet. Mmm, so good. I do pick up on the musk and the vanilla woods. This is a beautiful fragrance. I love pairing it. I love wearing this. If you guys see some of my videos, I'm always pairing this because it's bomb. The vanilla, the cashmere wood, 
the musk it's just really really good and sweet if you don't like sweet this is not for you okay because it's sugary sweet i will have to tell you that the original sweet tooth is one that i will always want to keep in my collection i will definitely buy the bigger bottle um this is only the one ounce like i said i got it for 30 dollars on amazon and yeah i love it i want the bigger bottle and this is one i definitely always want to keep let's see about the next one okay so this one i just purchased from walmart it was 29.99 they only have this size and this is the one ounce one fluid ounce and this is the packaging and this is the so, uh, sweet tooth caramel dreams okay so let's open her up and let's see what we got going on this bottle actually looks like a milk chocolate Hershey bar okay the bottles look just alike they're the same size just the difference in color I wish they had this one in the bigger size also but right now I only saw the one ounce at Walmart okay so let's get into the main accords the main accords on the sweet tooth caramel dreams are sweet woody powdery citrus warm and spicy vanilla patchouli me and patchouli don't get along too good okay musky caramel and almond okay woody hmm i like warm and spicy patchouli that's got me a little scared okay caramel and almond i like everything else so hmm let's try this together before we try i want to look at the notes really quick the notes are caramelized amber patchouli dark chocolate bean sugared lemon okay orange zest freesia vanilla i'm into all of that dark chocolate bean and fluffy musk so i got dark chocolate bean twice anyway dark chocolate bean fl fluffy musk all right, so let's do the air test. Hmm. Okay, on the opening, it definitely starts with the sweetest woody notes to me. I pick up on the amber, the chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. It's definitely giving a sweet woody tone. Oh, it's good. Oh, this is good. I pick up on the musk. It's so sweet. Mm. Oh, y'all. This is good. It's right on my skin. Mm. Oh, wow. I was afraid this would lean masculine from the notes with the patchouli and the amber, the woody notes, but it doesn't it, to me. Oh, y'all. This one lingers in the air a little bit longer as well. I feel like this one, it gives caramel in the end. It gives caramel in the end, even though there's not caramel in the notes. It's dark chocolate. Let's look at the notes again, you guys. It's giving caramel, but there's no caramel in these notes. Okay. It's amber, caramelized amber, dark chocolate, the musk, dark chocolate bean, on me it gives sweet caramel <laughs> that's crazy oh oh yeah that's good that's good oh my goodness i'm in love i'm in love with this y'all it's totally different from the original it although they're both sweet they're both sweet. This one's much lighter. I couldn't pick because to me, they're different. Does this lean masculine with the patchouli and the amber and the um, the woody notes? The cashmere wood? No. Oh my goodness. I went to Frigantica because the notes I was looking at were a little bit different. I don't know for Jan for Jantica, if they're accurate or not but this one says the top notes are almond milk sugar orange lemon and freesia the middle notes are vanilla dark chocolate orange blossom and orchid 
the base notes are patchouli, sandalwood, musk, caramel, and amber. So that's a little bit different because on me, I pick up caramel. On me, it smells like caramel, okay? On the dried out, it's giving caramel. And it's good. It is so good. So this one says sandalwood. The other one didn't have sandalwood. Maybe they maybe I don't know. But it's good. Let me tell you that. Could I pick? If I had to pick. If I had to pick, I don't know if I could, y'all. I don't know. But definitely, I want to have her in my collection always. I already said that, okay? Okay. But now I want this one in my collection, too. I want both of them. <laughs> I want both. But if I had to pick, I would definitely go with the first one. I said it. I don't know. But no, go with the first one. <laughs> go with the first one. It's very good. Oh, this one is good, too. I feel like this one's going to be more perfect for me for fall, winter. Although, me... I'm going to wear it year-round. But yes, beautiful job, Sabrina Carpenter. Beautiful job. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.